Yo, what is up? Today we're gonna talk about how to live your life. No, just joking. Today we're gonna talk about my experience 30 days with the slow carb diet by Timothy Ferris from the 4 hour body. I'm gonna give you the pros and the cons. So let's go to number one. One of the pros is you don't need to crack and count your damn calories. It's so liberating when you don't need to go to your app or go to your logbook and write or input like oh I got 200 grams of lentils then 22 grams of oil oh my god my protein slow there's no need for that you just need to strict you just need to stick to the food options that he gives you based on his research number two positive is there's a light after the tunnel in the sense that every week you have a mandatory cheat day where you can eat anything you want as long as you have a normal slow carb breakfast and you follow the caffeine caffeine the fructose and the, the citrus intake and the supplements throughout the day so if you do that you got every week you got a free cheat day you can eat everything because it helps you not down regulate too much your thyroid which when you go to a long diet it just deactivates or just slows down and you're gonna have some metabolic problems so that's why it's very important if you have these cheat days once a week number three it's easy to prepare these meals because you can just use lentils chicken breast or pork or even beef and it's so easy it just it, just, it takes you like 10 minutes or even five minutes to cook one meal even sometimes you can cook everything like another youtuber that i saw he cooked every meal that he had for the whole day in 15 minutes so it's very easy to prepare yeah you just need some lentils some eggs some spinach or sometimes if you're in the morning with the 30 grams of protein after waking up it just takes you protein shake and then some lentils that's what i that's what i personally do it was very easy to adapt to in the first place because it's just easy to prepare man it doesn't take that much time but now let's go and see the cons it was too bland at first you can just eat certain food groups you can't add you can eat sugar you can have bread you can't even have rice even soy or any other products that we deem very yummy it's so bland you just have chicken you have lentils at first it was kind of bland but afterwards i became adapted to it and it was very easy to follow connected to the first part is the second part which means it's very restrictive in the sense that for most people they can't last they can last for like three days but if they push to two weeks then it's going to be very normal for them but sometimes they just lose it in three days because it's too restrictive you can't have bread you can have this you can have that i'm gonna there's a lot of lists that you can have and there's just a small things that you can have but it is okay at first but for other people it's not that okay it's too restrictive and the third thing that was very difficult for me was during those cheat days it was okay it was cool but in the cheat day you're gonna have you're gonna have a slow carb meal which was for me was a protein shake and some lentils which made me have 32 grams of protein and around 200 calories of intake in the morning but in the afternoon you need to take the caffeine 100 to 200 grams but if you happen to eat like for example i i try to eat when i wake up around six then i have my lunch around one you need to intake the caffeine then around four or five i'm gonna have my last meal sometimes i even go one and three and five o'clock but in those days during the cheat days what i realized is you need to intake the caffeine 100 to 200 milligrams of coffee before your cheat meals and it was very difficult because around 4 or 5 p.m i was drinking the caffeine and uh, and i couldn't sleep i slept around 2 a.m i ended up binge watching on uh, youtube because i couldn't really sleep i got i got agitated i got too much caffeine and you really need to intake the caffeine from 100 to 200 milligrams before your cheat meals so it's very difficult if uh, that uh, i suggest you if you're gonna follow it and you're gonna go have your cheat meals i suggest having those meals earlier in the day like for example not to have dinner around seven but around around four have dinner so you can intake the caffeine and try to do some exercise so you can use the caffeine and flushes out your body and drink some water so you can really flush out that caffeine so those are my three things that are the pros and cons of having this low carb diet in the first in the first 30 days so i'm still going through it and i'll let you know how it goes but for me those were the pros and the cons so i'll see you in the next video peace out